Okay, y'all. I have been asked to teach you how to use the color wheel. And as I have said in the past, I don't really like talking and doing videos, although I do talk a lot. All right, here's a color wheel that has holes all the way around. This is so that you can actually lay it on top of what you're working on and match the color around the outside through the hole. The triangles in orange going this way will show you that if you're coloring something in yellow and let's say you have some blue in it also, then if you put in this red, it'll coordinate and look just fine. So I can take this round piece in the center, see if I can do this one-handed, and spin it and let's say, there's the triangle now, it's on, let's move it over here to green because we do a lot of flowers. So let's say we've done green leaves. We know that we can make our flowers either orange or purple and then do the other background in either the orange or purple and the whole thing is going to go well together by following that triangle. Does that make sense? Okay, here's another triangle. See this orange triangle? So I can use this color orange, follow that across. This color orange, this has got more red in it, this has more yellow in it. And then if you follow the tip, it means you can use that blue. Let's say I want a darker blue. I can turn it over here to this edge. There's the darker blue. Now I can use something down this edge, the rusty colors that have a little more red in them than, say, these that have the orange. And then if I follow that arrow over, I can use these goldens or the browns. Now here you're going to see purple square. That's if you're using, oh, come back in focus, there you go. That's if you're using four colors. Let me turn this around. All right, so let's say I'm using this pink color. I can use this deep purple. I can use this grassy green. And then I can use that yellow. And everything that I've just colored and put in those colors is going to all coordinate together. Here you see a purple square. Same thing, rather a rectangle. All right, if I line it up on the blue, let's say blue background, green flower, or green leaves, the brownish color can be for my lettering. What color was I on? Was I purple or green? It's pretty close. And then I'm going to come over here, and then I can use this uh, um, purplish pink with the color of the flower. So I encourage you to get one of the color wheels that's got the holes in it. I got this one years ago at Michael's actually in the scrapbooking department. Now you can find them without the holes. I just find it easier because I'm also a painter to lay this on top of my painting and go that route because it's got so many colors around the outside here. You can actually see on this one there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven different colors around each one. You can also go colors across from each other. Why do we like red and green so much at Christmas? Yeah, I know it's poinsettias and Christmas trees, but look, those colors are actually across from each other on the color wheel. Do you see that? Almost every time I put purple in something, I put yellow in it. Why is that? Because there's purple, and across from it's the yellow. So, I'm going to post this, and if you have any questions, ask. I will try to come back on and answer them. Um, here's the back of the color wheel, and it will give you some more ideas. Um, pick a starting color, pick a point, match it, and go from there. And then it's got it in two other languages also. Um, it's cardboard. It's pretty sturdy. That center spins. 
So again, I, I find this to be a very helpful color wheel and I think one that um, everybody can benefit from. And somebody said that I was always getting the right color backgrounds. This is why. Yeah, color wheel. All right, hope you all are having a great week, and I will talk to you later. Bye.